Well, new information today on the search to find the identities of some of the torso killers victims. It has been one of Northeast Ohio's biggest mysteries for nearly 90 years. Who was the torso killer and who were his multiple unidentified victims? Investigator Sarah Goldenberg has the latest on these decades old cold cases. DNA Doe Project is working with the Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office to try to identify some of the victims of the torso killer using genealogy and DNA. We now know which victims they're trying to identify first. The torso killer, also known as the Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run, murdered and dismembered more than a dozen people in Cleveland in the 1930s over a span of just a few years. Only two, tentatively three, of the torso killer's victims were identified at the time of the murders. A couple of weeks ago, 19 Investigates was the first to tell you the medical examiner's office started exhuming a few of the victims' bodies for DNA. Now we've learned two cases are listed as pending on DNA Doe Project's website. That means they're undergoing DNA testing in the lab. The first case, the most famous victim known as the tattooed man. Someone found his decapitated body near railroad tracks back in the summer of 1936. His head was found 1,500 feet away. He was a white male, about 20 to 23 years old, and he had six tattoos on his body. The next case called Kingsbury Run John Doe number six. He was found on Cleveland's lakefront near City Hall in the summer of 1938. This victim was a white male, his age unknown. DNA Doe Project hopes they'll get to work on more victims' cases. It's been a challenge to find where more victims' remains are buried in a potter's field. Funding is also a challenge. Right now, a donor is helping fund lab costs. Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News.